you up a little bit there we go hello guys good morning today i am bringing you quite a requested video actually and i don't think i've ever filmed a what i eat in a day video no reason really other than i feel like i can be pretty boring when it comes to like meal ideas and my routine which obviously like most people in life switches up pretty much every day during the week i try to be somewhat healthy do a couple of workouts i now with a dog get out every day at least once if not twice a day for a, a little walk they are only little at the moment with him which is a little bit frustrating i really am excited to get out on the long walks he's just chilling over there on the sofa and then at the weekends i'm far more relaxed when it comes to my eating habits you know if we're out and about or if we order a takeaway i'm not too strict to myself if I'm craving some sweet stuff midweek, weekends, whenever it may be, I don't hold back. I don't restrict myself when it comes to food. Also, one other thing I did just want to mention at the start of this video before we go on to what I eat is um, I would hate for this to be triggering for anyone who maybe has um, an unhealthy relationship with food. <laughs> Battery died. We're off to a great start already. So uh, just switch that out. Anyway, as I was saying, if you do feel like this could be triggering for you, then I hope to see you in the next video and maybe best to just not watch this one and give this one a miss. But anyway, so today I'm going to share with you what I eat in a day. I start my morning with a nice glass of cold water. We use Brita filter and keep it in the fridge. I really like cold water. I know some people prefer at room temperature. Which one are you? I'm freezing cold with ice preferably. And a... Nespresso coffee. Sometimes we have filter coffee of Tom's here as well, but if he shoots off or if he's out and about, then I just stick with an espresso for myself. And then I also start my morning with some vitamins. The one that I'm currently taking from my vitamins are multivitamin gummies, one of these hair, skin, and nails gummies, and then another one which you're currently balancing on, apple cider vinegar gummies. So they literally are like a sweet. <laughs> So um, apple cider, if you struggle to drink it, then obviously they do it in the form of gummies. So yeah, water, coffee, vitamins is how I generally start my day. I feed him and then I look to do my own breakfast. So today I'm going to do some baked oats, which is a new thing that I have been loving. I have found the recipe on an app that I've been using called Jumper. I'll show you the app and do a screen record uh, because this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by them. It's like a health wellness app that promotes positivity in terms of healthy lifestyle choices so they have various workout plans to suit your needs they have various meal ideas which is what i mo mostly use it for um i like to take inspiration or follow and copy exactly a lot of their recipes that they have and it's really good because it has the breakdown of all the different kind of ingredients the method they have little video tutorials which is amazing and also it tells you like a breakdown of the calories and also the carb content fat content protein content and also how long it takes to cook i'm just looking at the app myself this morning because i think i'm gonna go with the apple and cinnamon baked oats today which i love you guys know i'm a fan of like apple cinnamon flavors absolutely obsessed 
So that's what I'm going to make this morning. And another alternative that I like to do sometimes and prep the night before is the banana and peanut butter overnight oats. They're really good as well. If you want to try out the John Paul app yourself, I will leave a direct link in my description box where you can click through and start your free trial today. You get a two week free trial, cancel any time. So you can try it out, try some of the recipes. It's really great because it is targeted uniquely to you. So your fitness program and everything is suited specifically for you, which is amazing. You can choose your goal of either losing weight, staying healthy, getting fit, which I'm, to be honest with you, a combination of the latter two. I'm not really here to lose weight. I like to feel healthy and stay fit in that. I like to feel strong. So I'm all about balance. And for me, more than anything as well, like I said, the meal ideas just help give me a bit of inspiration for trying something new, trying something a bit more colorful rather than typical beige food that I opt for. As well as the fitness, they also have like a psychology section where you can really kind of hone in with your mental wellness and sort of check out, do a bit of meditation and mindfulness practice, which again, I think is really great. They have lots of really useful and insightful blog posts that you can have a read through and little challenges and tasks that you can undertake to help them determine your unique and individual programs with tailored nutrition and bespoke fitness programs to suit your lifestyle. If you did want to try it out for free initially, after that there is a um, 9.99 subscription cancel any time plan. Plan. There's also one that you can do three months, which is $26.99, which works out about $8.99 a month. Or for the most discount, you can get it at 12 months. That plan works out at $7.49 a month. So it's $89.99 for the year. So really affordable considering it is so bespoke and tailored to you. So I'm going to take my vitamins, have my coffee and water, get on with a um, couple of emails whilst I enjoy my coffee and then start the baked oats. The oven is on, ready to go. California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling making plans thought I would just briefly share what I am wearing today as well just in case anyone was interested. It's a new outfit that I just got recently from Jameson Carter and they do some really nice loungewear pieces so I got this kind of like oversized sweatshirt. I did size up to 14 in it so it's quite long but I just kind of tuck it up and yeah love this and then these leggings that i got have the super thick waistband which i love and they're really high waisted they just have the branding across the front and then i am wearing my lounge socks which i'm really tempted to get a few more pairs in because i've been living in them and i'm sad when they're in the wash so yeah might get some more of these they do them in pink as well the sofa's a mess the house needs a clean the dog's taking over my life but isn't he just worth it? Oh, look at that tired face. He's like, what's this camera, mom? You're just having snoozies. You're getting bigger and bigger every day, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at his eyes. They are tired, sleepy eyes. Kisses. For the apple and cinnamon baked oats recipe on John Paul, you will need 40 grams of rolled oats, 80 mils of oat milk, and this is the one that I quite like to use, the Oatly Oat Drink. This is the barista edition, which is really good for making like milky coffees with as well. Uh, 40 mils of soy yogurt, an apple, this is just a pink lady, and then we need a teaspoon of chia seeds and half a teaspoon of cinnamon i do do a heaped half teaspoon because i do really like cinnamon and then the apple you just grate up and pop in mix them all together and then you'll need like a little ramekin this is a little heart shaped one i have from le cruze that i like to use then once they're all mixed together you bake for 20 to 25 minutes i just like to keep an eye on it and then that's it no rain no flowers nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep in the bed, lying awake, cause I'm not there beside you. 
course little man can get in on the action apples are a really good like little uh, healthy treat for dogs so let's see if we can do some tricks with you so you can work for this food sit stay stay come good boy sit down sit good boy that's nice and gentle as well So I just thought I would show you my dashboard here. What's recommended for today's meals is this blueberry and lemon overnight oats. Because I didn't make them last night, you can simply go on and click here. Either eat in this meal once you have, skip or change meal, which I'm obviously gonna do. And then I'm just gonna search for baked oats. And let's see what comes up. There we go, apple and cinnamon baked oats. And I just do the same with the other meals if I'm not feeling what they recommend. And then once I have eaten them, obviously I've eaten this meal. We'll record that, it will record your today's nutrition log and you'll know what else you have left for the rest of the day. which means it's, this one's dinner time. Do you want some dinner? <laughs> yeah. And typically at this time I'll sort of think, do I just want a snack or do I want full on lunch? And I'm thinking full on lunch. I say full on lunch, I'm actually craving hummus, crisps, carrots, cucumber, tomatoes, like a bit of a platter. I like picky food and I like lots of little things when it comes to meals and food. So for lunch, that's gonna be the plan. I'll show you everything that I end up getting out for my little, what I used to call when I was younger, picnic plate. I always used to have a picnic plate for lunch and get his lunch ready and yeah. So a nice colorful plate I should have for my lunch. And then I might have an afternoon snack and then maybe a coffee and biscuits before dinner as well. <laughs> I know this is somewhat turning into a what my dog eats in a day as well, but just a little tip for any other dog mums out there. I'm also gonna have some cottage cheese and it's also a healthy snack for pups. So a good little tip as well to make it last longer is to pop a little bit in a Kong and pop this in the freezer. He can have his lunch now and then his, this can be his afternoon snack. And here we have my lunch. So obviously it's a jam-packed full plate, but lots of goodness in there. So we've got cottage cheese, hummus, cucumber carrots, tomatoes, grapes, ham, cheese, cheese straws, and then these are actually lentil chips. So they're quite low in fat and high in protein. And I tend to opt for these as an alternative to just like a regular crisp, 
just to be slightly healthier but also I actually prefer the taste of them I mean these aren't the healthiest but everything else like I said balance so I'm going to enjoy my lunch with um, usually a YouTube video just because they're quick and easy to put on also on my third glass of water third or fourth third glass of water I think if you struggle to stay hydrated, I'm pretty good with it, especially when I'm at home. If I'm out and about, I'm useless and I end up getting a headache. But if not, I find having a bottle with a straw in it, like a countdown on it, I actually have a couple in the kitchen. So when I'm out and about, I try and take one of them because otherwise I struggle to keep motivated to have my lunch. Have my lunch. Food's clearly on my mind. Have my water, daily water intake. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to enjoy this with a bit of YouTube and I'll see you guys when I'm next having a snack, coffee, whatever it is before dinner tonight. and I'm ready for, <laughs> but I'm just having a drink of water, ready for a sweet treat and I'm gonna make myself a nice afternoon coffee. These are what I'm obsessed with pretty much, the Nescafe gold sachets that they do. They come with eight in a box, loads of different flavors, but when they brought out this cinnamon bun latte flavored, wow, that was a mouthful to get out. Cinnamon bun latte flavored around Christmas time. They say special edition. I still see them in stores every once in a while anywhere but there's only one left in there. So um, I'm gonna have one of these. You literally just pop it in the mug, add the water, you're good to go. It's got like milk powder in there. So um, it is like a milky, yummy, delicious, sweet coffee. And there are how many calories per one? 80 calories in case you are a calorie counter. I'm not a strict calorie counter, but um, eight calories if you're interested. So I'm just gonna add some hot water to this. And I do still have a little Easter chocolate. So I have some left over from a galaxy egg that I actually had yesterday. Only a little bit left in here really. So just a little like kind of scraps of chocolate. So I'm just gonna finish that with my coffee and see you guys either snack time if I get hungry or probably more like dinner time because I do eat quite early around 5, 5.30ish. I start thinking, right, what's for dinner? So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Okay, it is dinner time and I'm gonna make this spinach and artichoke pasta. Uh, just kind of loosely follow it. So what I've got to include within this meal is some baby spinach. I do have some cooked chicken, which I might include as well, but I'm not sure yet. Um, pine nuts, which I'm gonna toast. Uh, mozzarella, which I'm gonna kind of break up and add in. Artichokes, garlic cloves, whole wheat pasta again, just if you're wanting to um, have a slightly healthier diet. And then extra virgin olive oil, some basil to sprinkle in as well. Is that it? I think that's it. So I'm gonna cook that now and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once I have finished it and ready to eat. I do sometimes double up recipes as well so that I have enough for leftovers for lunch tomorrow, which is just an easier option to do when you're cooking. Why not double it up and have leftovers? I actually sometimes prefer the leftovers as well, especially if it's like a tomatoey based sauce. You are back once more like everything's the same. I try to build my walls up, but you're taking them down. It's tearing me apart, I can't pretend. Now I have to get over you again. Was the last time that you keep coming back to show me sorry you have changed now and here we have it my dinner is served there's definitely enough for leftovers there as well and i've just refilled my glass of water so i'm gonna have this with my evening meal and that's pretty much all i drink most of the day i will probably have um a diet coke in the evening with my dessert or like a ginger beer or 
red wine if we're feeling it. So yeah, I'm gonna sit back, enjoy this, put a bit of TV on and it's got my face. <laughs> of hours later we're just sort of settling in for the evening Barney's just humping his toys <laughs> as he does um, and I thought I would show you what I'm having as the last thing of the day it's a little sweet treat so um, by about seven ish I'm gonna say I tend to get like a real sweet craving sometimes I have a bit of yogurt sometimes I was gonna say fruit. Fruit generally just doesn't cut it. I usually have to have something else. So um, a Diet Coke. And then I've got myself a little bowl of this Fiber One 90 calorie lemon drizzle square. I've not tried any of the other flavors that they've done yet. I have some in the cupboard. I've just not tried them because I really like this lemon drizzle one. But I also like to have a bit of chocolate in there. So I have some leftover of these little Reese's eggs again from Easter. So that is gonna be my little evening snack in front of the TV. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want me to do any future what I eat in a day, I feel like what I eat in a week is a good insight into what you actually eat in a week. It's hard to do loads of different meal ideas and stuff in one day, obviously. So anyway, if you do wanna check out more meal ideas from the Jumple app, be sure to check out the link in the description box. And if you have filled up with Easter chocolates and you're wanting to just have a bit of a change in your lifestyle, I do think by having an app, it helps keep you motivated and keeps you on track to achieving your goals. I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye guys.